I certainly cannot outspeak Jensen, so why don't we welcome Jensen right here on the stage. Hey, that's a hall. Hey, Rick. Hey, Jensen. Nice to see you. No, the real star is here. Oh, cut it out. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, Jensen, I, I tell you, number one, I truly appreciate and uh, all the collaboration we have here, automotive, IoT, supercomputer, cloud ASIC. I also truly enjoy your talk back in March and yesterday. And they're very different, by the way. <laughs> they're all very so, so powerful. So, so unrehearsed. <laughs> I think that's what he's trying to say. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he, I mean, uh, you can never beat him. <laughs> but uh, I mean, uh, it all so strikes me all the time. I, I tell my people all the time, I don't know how you manage so many things. In one year, you have so many new things. So products, hardware, software, Subsystem. It's easy. Oh, no, tell, tell us, tell us, would you? You just tell people what you want and it happens. <laughs> I think we have people from NVIDIA here, right? Hey, where are you guys? Huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to do it, I just have to have it be done. <laughs> do our people understand that? <laughs> <laughs> well, Rick, you know, listen. I love our partnership. Uh, the fact of the matter is, I bet most of the people in this audience do not know the scale of AI infrastructure MediaTek has. And the reason for that is because they're doing advanced research in AI, developing AI models, creating all this amazing technology that you could use in consumer electronics, right? home electronics, all of the home theater technology and the super res technology and the audio technology for your cars and you're, you're turning a car into a home theater. And so that's, that's number one, is all of the AI work that we do together and, and uh, the investment that you make and the dedication you have to AI infrastructures. A lot of great AI researchers at MediaTek. You know that, right? Okay. <laughs> Down there, yes. Exactly, that's number one. Number two, the work that we do in the automotive in industry together. And, and I'm really delighted by that, and I, I really do hope that the the incredible multimedia technology you put into home theaters around the world for us and can go into cars. And then we work in, uh, of course, uh, this revolutionary product we call DJX Spark. Now, the CPU and the GPU are both state-of-the-art, but what's amazing is that you saw it. They abut together using this NVLink. Yes. In fact, that project inspired us to think of NVLink Fusion. Hmm. The fact of the matter is, we were able to work together in creating this chip, and the chip is state-of-the-art. It came up and running in the first day. It's running at full speed. The performance is incredible. And, you know, it's going to be a miracle when we go to production. People are going to be shocked at what it can do. Now, remember, a 200 million parameter model runs on this thing. And 200 million parameters, if you connect two of these DGX, sparks together, it's 400 because it's multiplied by two. And <laughs> <coughs> it's incredible. And so, so I think that, that um, the, the big idea is this. Look, the personal computers here, uh, mobile devices are here, we already have our personal devices. But in the world of AI native applications, the only way to enjoy AI is connected to the cloud. There is no way to have, well, rich AI. You know, 200 million parameter AI, large language models, generative models that are fairly significant. The only way to do that is in the cloud. So we've, we decided that we should build a personal device, a personal computer for the AI first world. And that's what DGX Park is. If you're a developer, it connects to you just like you connect to the cloud. Uh, when you're done developing, you could host it and you know, all of your applications just like that, as if it's in the cloud. And so every AI developer is going to want one of these. Every student, researcher, 30 million of them around the world, we're going to produce, you know, <laughs> DGX Sparks in high volume, which is the reason why we needed so many, we got so many people excited about it 
that all of the world's OEMs are going to be part of the distribution channels. They're all going to be doing differentiated versions of it, taking it to market. And so we have DGX Spark. But the idea, the big idea, um, is uh, NVLink Fusion. You know, as you know, AI is a very different computing model, whereas hyperscale are few applications running in a virtualized, on, in a virtualizer, on a virtualized environment hypervisor on one computer, one CPU. But in the world of AI, it's a whole bunch of computers working together to generate, to reason, to think, to answer your query. And so all of these computers are working together in such a way as to respond smartly and quickly. And meanwhile, you're not the only customer of that cloud, so a whole bunch of other customers are using that same computer. And so notice the difference is not only virtualizing one computer, but it's really about sharing a distributed, high-performance computing AI supercomputer. And so the computing model is different, and we invented this fabric called NVLink, connected to either InfiniBand or connected to Spectrum X, so that we could scale up the computer, make it large, and scale out the computer for distributed computing. And so this fabric is foundational to NVIDIA's AI leadership. This is how we went from being a processor company to being an AI infrastructure company or AI data center company. And so this, value, this incredible capability is what makes, makes it possible for us to do what we do. Well, what we decided to do was to open this infrastructure. So you can connect to NVIDIA's scale up NVLink, scale out Spectrum X, and scale out InfiniBand using a chip to chip chiplet that we work on together. And so whether you're, you decide to connect the CPU to that or decide to connect the ASIC to that, you're, you can now connect your intellectual property, your differentiation into our fabric. And so whether it's whether it's from the customer's perspective, they have the benefit now of accessing this incredible technology, or from our perspective, our ecosystem could be connected to anybody's ecosystem. And so it's a win-win for everybody. And so anyways, that's the, that's the big idea. And um, everybody's so surprised that NVIDIA would open this intellectual property uh, to everybody, which is a statement about how incredibly valuable it is. This is the fifth generation NVLink. And NVLink is not just, you know, Ethernet with light protocol, okay? <laughs> NVLink, NVLink is, is uh, the, the ultimate computing fabric. And that's why we are very excited, and because we have now really a strong relationship to work together. You probably don't know, Jensen, our engineers really, despite the challenges and the... Uh, I mean, it's a difficult thing to do that CPU, but they really enjoy working with your people. They enjoy the openness. That's really nice. The communication. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I want to say this. I mean, you guys all know that, right? Because we're really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Yeah, you, you, know, you, you make sure I, you tell your engineers, okay? <laughs> no, they're not nice. I'm nice. Mm. I'm just, no, I'm... I, Look, here, here's the, the thing is, the thing that, that's really a big idea is we went from being a computer company, what we're to, doing together now is building the AI infrastructure for the planet. Every company will have AI factories. Of course, we, you have one. Every industry will have AI infrastructure. There will be AI infrastructure across the world. This is such a gigantic initiative and you started, you started uh, building custom ASICs. And I think, you got, by the way, Metatexcan is incredible at collaboration. The fact that it matters, we put these two chips together. The fact that either chip indiv independently works is a miracle in itself. Combining the two of them together, you know, when you have 10% you know, working probability added to 7%, mine's the 10%, yours the 7%. And you put the two of them together. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, so anyways, when you take two complex things and you put them together, the likelihood of it working is extremely small. And yet the interface is ex yeah. right? yep. state of the art. Okay? And so, so, so the, the IP that you guys have, the, all of the certies, all of the design methodology, 
Remember, these two chips worked first time. These two chips worked first time. Built in two different companies, coming together, fused together. Not connected over PCI Express, fused together in a common package. There's 0% chance it was going to work. <laughs> Other than you. I just didn't want to say it out loud in the beginning until, it, <laughs> until I was proven wrong. And so, but anyways, the, the, the two engineering teams really love working with each other because they're, so, they're completely excellent. And so I, I love the fact that you're, you're building semi-custom semi ASICs and all these uh, accelerators uh, for the world's hyperscalers. The, the thing that we're doing together, in addition to that, is we're essentially building semi-custom AI infrastructure. Yeah. And so now, at the whole data center scale, we have a fabric, this NVLink and Spectrum X, NVLink and Quantum, right? Either one, whichever you, you choose. Um, but you have this NVLink fabric that you can now plug our GPUs into, your CPUs into, their ASICs into, my CPUs in, and we could create essentially a semi-custom infrastructure. And then we'll, you know, next step is just blanket the planet with it. Vince, hear that? That's how easy it is. Some like, let me see. Now I can uh, steal at least half of your word. This guy is an AI infrastructure guy. Remember yesterday? I'm a construction worker. Yeah. <laughs> We're some my infrastructure guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's so nice to have you here again, Jensen. I truly appreciate your support, help. I love our partnership to our company, to our people, engineers, they love it. Thank you. And uh, Thank you very much. We, uh, so I've been working with Rick since my 20s. Really? Well, well, how old was I? Well, how young was I? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it's not far off. I've been working with, with Rick since my 30s. Yeah. Yeah, my early 30s. 30s. Yeah. yeah. It was a great memory, but also a great achievement that I personally kind of... Uh, watch and admire. Thank you. And uh, when I started working with Rick, he's younger than I am now. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I take that as a compliment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in return for your compliment, I have something for you, Jensen, today. Now, remember uh, March GTC time? You serve me with a delicious, wonderful, rich pancake with sausage from Denny's. Remember that? Yes. I had a. That's big, my, my specialty. Big, yeah, yeah, his specialty. Yeah. He came out in red apron with Denny's. I don't know who he worked for, but. <laughs> Denny's. Denny's. <laughs> I, I took a big bite. I enjoyed it, but yeah, I didn't take the second bite because everybody else was kind of a, was put up over there. <laughs> I thought I want to show my composure, mm -hmm. not, not just walloping <laughs> the, whole, the mm -hmm. whole thing. So, but it's great, it's great. I do have something for you here today. We all know what Jensen likes the best in Taiwan. Nine market, one of the best other than the business. Nine market, right? One of your favorite, I think, is the Tonghua Ye Shi. The fruit lady, the lady of Aunt Che, right? Zheng A Yi, Zheng A Yi. Her fresh fruits of the day, mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. No way. <laughs> I have tomato. Oh, fantastic. I have oh, green mango. Wow. wow, these are all my favorites. And I have oh. guava. Oh my gosh. All in the original package. <laughs> okay, you can Thank see. You. This is our I'm Taiwan night market package. No remarketing, okay? Other than, of course, the Wow. Bag. So, Jensen, I want to offer you this. You got me all excited. I thought I was <laughs> going to get like a bottle of fine whiskey or something. <laughs> I need to apply for that budget. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, thanks for that. Hey, this is really thank you. Wonderful this is, thing. This is a treasure. Thing. 
Thank you. I think we need to pay, take a this is, picture. This is a this is a real treasure. Hang on a second. Let me let me take this out. Mm. This green mango is so good, you guys. Have any Westerners here? I just, this is treasure right here. This is gold. Yeah, she's terrific. If you don't, if you don't, yeah, go go see her. Her name is uh, Fruit Lady. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> calls her, everybody calls her Fruit Lady now. Apparently, she she has uh, gone on to tremendous stardom. Yeah, Jensen, in addition to enabling the AI infrastructure, big sucker, but also enabling many small businesses <laughs> like the uh, Fruit Lady. Restaurants you just talk about the flowers. Flowers. He he couldn't get a onion. Yeah. He couldn't get a reservation because they are all full <laughs> by our local clients. Right. That's true. And so I just dropped in without without uh, without a reservation, and all of the customers are so nice. They uh, rearranged themselves so I could sit down. <laughs> and they everyone. I took a picture with you. I took a picture with everyone. <laughs> that is authentic, Jensen. I, oh, I didn't say that, but I want to say it in public. I really appreciate Don't embarrass it. me. Yeah, authenticity. I mean, authentic. Well, you said that word yourself, approachable. Everyone, well, not today, not now, okay. But <laughs> when you see him on the street, take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Well, again, thank, thank you. you so much. I thank hope you, you enjoy the media tech story today and also enjoy Jensen here today. It's wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful help to us. Thank you. And, and I want to thank media tech and all your engineers, the management team. Uh, it really is, you are really genuinely a world class company. And it's uh, the technology you have, uh, the collaboration spirit, uh, the, just the can do attitude. And quite frankly, the fact that you build it right the first time. You know, these are all things that are, that are really uh, genuinely world class. Great. Thank and you. We will do better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rick.